Hello everyone, welcome to Joan's Act Survival. On this video here, we're going to go step by step and we're going to make maple syrup into sugar. Um, if you guys watched, I had another video posted where I failed at it and ended up making it into candy. Uh, that one there showed all the boiling process and everything. This year I've done so many videos, uh, box elder syrup, maple syrup, birch syrup, and the trying to make the maple sugar. This one works real well. You'll know exactly how to do it when this is done. What I did is I kept out the part where I'm boiling, boiling, boiling for three days. If you need to know how to boil the sap, uh, you can go back and watch one of the other videos. This one here starts up right when it's rendered down into a syrup-like state, and then from there we take it and make it into sugar. Full days of boiling down to the bottom now. Now it's just going to be to render it down and try to make it into sugar. Uh, this time we're not going to use any thermometers, nothing. Just going to go all the way down, get the liquid out of it, and crush it up into sugar. I have gotten down to, I've got this one cup full filled up here. I've got probably a cup and a half of syrup that I boiled down. This is maple, and I'm just going to pour a little bit when I do it, and I'm just going to do little bits at a time like that. So if I screw it up, I have another chance at it. <laughs> so I'm just going to heat this up now and just get all of the water out of it. And as this goes, it'll just reduce and reduce and reduce. After I failed it this last time, I went on and did a lot of reading on how to make the sugar. I mean, I thought I had it in my mind already last time. I took into account all the comments and the help, which I appreciate. Watched a bunch of movies on it or videos on this. And I just hope this works. You can really see that that moisture is coming out of it. Now I've turned it down. I had it on, well, 6 out of 10 on my stove before, and now I've got it down to 4. Probably turn it down a little bit more in a little bit here so it doesn't burn, but you can really see it starting to trail across like that. Okay, so now the consistency is drastically changing. Amazing. Just continually mixing it like this to keep it from burning. Help get that moisture out of it. I decided to do this the first time here with a Teflon pan. If this works good, I'm going to do it several times with Teflon, but then I want to also try it using a cast iron. Look at that. It's a little bit wider wooden piece so I can kind of crush it up because it's getting kind of crumbly. almost is like brown sugar now, kind of a damp brown sugar. As I keep mixing this now, I'll pull it off the heat a little bit and do it too. It's getting crumbly, but you can see that like the wet ones stick to these, the dry ones stick to the wet ones. Anyway, when I crunch them, they seem to be a little bit lighter in color. So it's really getting real dry feeling now. I'm actually going to transfer it into this pan just so I can kind of crush it up without burning it. I'll probably have to return it to the other pan, but... Okay, so there you can kind of see what we have. Feels real dry and everything. I'm going to spread this out on a paper plate just so... See if it'll dry anymore and I'm going to do the next batch, but this batch I'm going to do in a cast iron pan where I've got yeah, a little bit more surface area there, see how the hot goes. Okay, so doing it in the cast iron pan over here, which I have to crush up a little bit more yet, gave me a lighter sugar than it did in the other pan, and I think it's because I pulled it off the heat faster. So now I'm going to do it in Teflon like I did this one, but then pull it off the heat right when that bubbles up, and then it, when it kind of changes its consistency, I'll pull it off and I'll mix it in there. Okay, we can see it starting to trail again when I run this through. We're getting closer. 
Okay, so now you can see it's kind of getting mounded like that. See that, how it just completely changed and drops out? It immediately turns into like sugar. You can see that? And that's what we want, just like that. See, that's much lighter colored than that first batch we did. Okay, so of these three, I still have a batch going right now. That last one we did was the best. So I'm thinking that this one over here, I think it got a little toasted. It doesn't really have a burnt taste, but a, I don't know. You wouldn't know. I'm going to mix them all together. But um, of all three of them, this is the highest grade one. So I'm going to do it just like this. Okay, so we're doing this one the same way. See if we can get two batches the same. I put a little bit more in here. There's maybe, I don't know, a third of a cup in this one instead of a quarter. Okay, there you can see now we're getting consistent. This one is that batch we just did. That's the one before it. That's that first one that got kind of toasted, and this one's a different color, but that one was done in cast iron. Okay everyone, so there we have it. About a cup and a quarter of maple syrup gave us maybe a cup and a half, a little more than a cup and a half of uh, maple sugar. And by sealing it and putting the oxygen absorber in there, I'm hoping that it won't clump together like sugar will do sometimes, so we'll see. Anyway, finally success. That's how you make maple sugar. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones Act Survival Channel.